Read and hear the story of Michael Buelna, who is a police officer fulfilling his duties the best. But one day, even he did not think that he will come across something like this. Michael was on his duty and was performing the usual routine scan in one of the secluded and the most dangerous surroundings in Santa Ana, California. As the place was often isolated, officers could be easily tracked there, making sure that there is no chaos. However, one night, he witnesses major chaos. It was often seen that once it is night, everything stood calm. Some back streets of the place would find homeless people, and many panhandlers, too, would roam around. In order to ensure the safety of the residents, many officers like Michael would be there to work. However, that day, the unwanted happened. One particular night, Buelna witnessed an extremely disturbing scene. He, despite being an officer, was terrified by what he saw. After policing for nearly 10 years, he had never come across a sight even as bit of close to the horrific one that he saw now. What was it? This story dates back to 1989. While Michael was appointed at another station, one night he was to serve his duty at Santa Ana, as recently a case of the stabbing was reported in that area. While he hoped that the situation was under the control of the officers, soon his hopes shattered. Michael was alert of his surroundings. He was keeping an eye on the very few people that would come across the lonely streets at odd hours in the night. Just when he thought that everything seemed to be fine, a group of people suddenly appeared and waved at him nervously. The people suddenly start to point out to a nearby alley. They shouted from a corner, Look there, something is there! And this made Michael alert. He immediately rushes to the alley and he was stunned. He had no clue that he was stepping towards the unbelievable. The way people pointed towards the alley had alerted Michael. He prepared himself for the worst and stepped ahead. Surprisingly, there was no one around. The alley was all silent. But then, this silence was disrupted by the unknown. The alley was weirdly silent. Michael was even able to hear the sound of his own footsteps. There was wind blowing and cicadas chirping. And as Michael stood still and paid attention to any other noise, he gets to hear some faint sounds that startled him. What were they? The sounds were very low and barely audible. They were faint, but as far as Michael could recall, they appeared to be some cat meowing or something similar. Michael followed the sound and searched to the very corner of the alley, and the sounds were coming from a dumpster. And when he found the source of the sound, he was petrified. As Michael reached the dumpster, the sounds became audible. They were coming from inside of the bin. All the while, the officer thought that these noises were of a cat or some animal but they appeared to be a baby's cry. But that was too vague of a thought to come to him. He disposed his thoughts and quickly peeks inside the bin, and the sight shocked him. Michael immediately threw away the stuff that was in the dumpster, and the sounds grew stronger. And as he reached the bottom of the bin, the source of the sound made the officer's head revolve like anything, and he whispered to himself, this is unbelievable, how can this be here? The sight that made Michael breathless was that of a human baby abandoned in that dumpster. The faint sounds were indeed that of a baby crying. The police officer could not believe that someone could do something this inhuman to a newborn. But there was something more which panicked him. Michael was already not over the sight of finding the baby in a mess like that, that he made another unbelievable discovery. The baby was dumped at the bottom of the dumpster and he was lying on his stomach, almost choking. The little one was all covered in blood and dirt from the bin, and then he found something that needed immediate attention. The newborn not only needed some air to breathe and someone to look after, but he needed immediate medical help. The umbilical cord was still attached to the baby. The officer had to think on his feet and rushes for medical help. Michael had never come across something this awful ever before. Despite being a police officer, Michael had his heart for this baby. He couldn't bear the pain in which the baby was in. Though he called the ambulance, yet couldn't speak to them about the situation as he was so disturbed and in shock. He did not let the baby go with the doctors, but rather left his duty and went with the baby in the ambulance to the hospital. The assistant doctors in the ambulance were worried looking at the baby's condition. The baby was all blue and shivering in cold. It was a severe case of hypothermia. The chances of the baby making it alive were slim. Will the little one lose his life even before tasting it for a while? The baby was taken to the intensive care and his umbilical cord was set free. He was provided with oxygen and immediate warmth to stabilize his body temperature. Lots of fluids and medicinal liquids were infused in him. Everyone was just praying and hoping that this little child survives, but nobody was sure after looking at his condition. Almost after 72 hours under observation, the baby's body temperature came to normal. 
He began to breathe and react to the medical treatment. It was no less than a miracle that this happened. However, it was only the first fight that this little being battled and there was many more to come his way. What had fate had in store for this baby? One of the doctors informed the officer that the baby's recovery and even told him that the baby was really fortunate to have come across an officer like him, as he was born a few hours ago when Michael found him in the dumpster. She even said that they need to give the baby a name. What happened next was quite beautiful. Michael held the baby in his arms and with tears in his eyes looked at him. The entire scene that happened that night came in front of his eyes. He was glad that he could find the little one and saved his life. Michael gave the baby the name Adam. However, this moment lasted for a few seconds and then life happened. The beautiful moment and the story came to an end as Michael had to eventually return to his duties. However, he promised Adam that he will see him again someday, but when that was, was something unknown. Little did Michael know that it was just the beginning for baby Adam. Baby Adam was handed over to the hospital authorities and this news of the police officer saving the life of the baby that he found in the dumpster garnered much of attention via local news channels. The authorities hope that with this they will be able to locate his mother, but nothing like that happened. And then, a decision was made. As the birth mother or the father of Adam did not turn up, the authorities legally offered him for adoption. After following the legal process, luckily a couple showed up to adopt Adam. Back then, even they didn't know what will happen in the future. Elizabeth Barton and Daniel Fernandez, a couple from California, were looking for a baby to adopt. When they heard about Adam, they couldn't wait to adopt him and have him as part of their lives and eventually complete their family. They adopted him and gave him a new name, Robin Barton. The Bartons knew how tough and horrible life was for Robin within after a few hours of his birth. They did not want him to face anything like that ever again and showered their baby with all their love and care. They brought him up the best they could. However, as he grew up, he began asking some unanswered questions. The adopted parents never told Robin about his horrific past post his birth. They loved him as their own. But as Robin grew older, he found his adoption papers and started questioning his past. The duo ignored this subject every time, but could only hide it until his adulthood struck in. For years, Robin was never told the truth, but as he grew into an adult, he couldn't any longer refrain from the truth. The duo always feared that Robin won't be able to absorb the harsh reality and worried for his well-being post the disclosure. And Robin's reaction was an unexpected one. Elizabeth nervously told Robin the entire truth. She told him how he was found in a dumpster by a police officer named Michael Buelna, and how after surviving hypothermia, he was adopted by them. Robin, for some obvious reasons, was taken aback. Still, he had something else to say. Robin was initially frightened to even imagine the condition in which he was found. However, maintaining his calm, Robin expressed his gratefulness for the Bartons who adopted him and gave him a life he is living today. He also expressed his desire to reach out to Michael Buelna, the officer who saved his life. But will it even be possible? Robin realized that Michael had retired from his service of the police officers. He served at Santa Ana for nearly three decades and before his 50s, he retired. However, the other police officers who were still serving their terms provided Robin with Michael's contact details. Decades later, Michael receives a call from Robin and he couldn't believe that over the call was the same child all grown up and presenting his thankfulness. At last, Michael and Robin met for once more and had nothing to say to each other. They just embraced each other up in their arms. Robin had tears in his eyes. Michael was very happy to see Robin. He even told him that he, Michael himself, was an abandoned child and he knew what it was to grow without your parents by your side. And that night, when he saw Robin, he knew that the baby deserved better. As the reunion of the police officer and Robin too gained much attention, surprisingly after decades, Robin's birth father also got to know about him. Robin's birth father, Marcos Meza, too reaches out to Robin and meets him. And there were a lot more coming. While Robin thought that he got to meet his birth father, he will be able to meet his birth mother as well. Unfortunately, it never happened. It was found out that Sabrina Diaz, a prisoner, was deported to Mexico and around the 1990s, she abandoned her baby. After knowing this, Robin never held any grudges for her as probably she did not want him to live a life in the prison.